Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be doing a set of murder mystery nails uh, for Halloween and yeah let's get straight into it guys. So first things first is we will be painting this one white. Um, these three um, are like a skin colour and a bright red on this one. So that's what we will do now. We've got the McCart White, Beetles Red and the skin colour is from this brand here, Britpop Nails. Here is the first layer of colours. We have white. These are skin coloured which are going to require two coats because you can see the blue tack underneath and the light red on the ring finger. We'll just put these in to nook and we will be back for the second coat. Right so that is the first coat done. Um, I want to put a second coat of this skin coloured on these three here and then on top of this bright red we are going to be putting this dark red glitter um, also by the way if you hear someone pottering about and talking it's my son <laughs> Okay, so there is the second coat on there. The reason I mixed these two reds, the pale red woo, and the darker red was because I think this looks much more like the colour of blood. So we are going to put these in to nook for a second time and I will be back. Right, there we go, that's the second coat on. Now for these three, I am just going to be doing a white French tip. And I've just got a little detail liner brush that I'll be using with my resin mixing palette. mixing some of this white with um, some base coat because I do not have very much of it left at all. I need to be getting more white desperately. So if you're running out of a nail varnish colour and you need it to spread a little bit further, just mix it with some clear um, and you will get more. Obviously don't add too much clear because 
then it will be um, a lot more transparent if you're wanting an opaque colour. Obviously, if you want to use a jelly colour and you don't have jelly colours, then you do the opposite ratio. You do a tiny bit of colour and lots of clear, and you end up with jelly. So, how I do my French tips, I go up from the one side like that, and up the middle, and I do the same on the opposite side, up into the middle, figure out where I want to round it off, put a line across so you end up with something like this, and then you just round the corners off. Like so, so it's nice and round, and then this top bit here you just fill in. So, and there you have your French tip, and we're just going to do the same to the other two. There we go, and you should end up with something that looks like that, so you can see the three nails that have the French tip done on it. Now before we nuke these, we are going to do the next step on the thumbnail here. Now for this one I'm going to take a very, very pale colour, so this one here is an off-white. You really do not need a lot of it at all. Let's clean off my brush. Because now we are like in the movies and somebody walks into a room where somebody has died and you see like them chalk outlines of a body. We're going to be doing that here but in black because it's on a white background and yeah 
getting black off of white is a lot harder than getting a very pale colour off of white. So we're going to use the pale colour, work out the design that we want, cure it, and then we can go over that design with the black nail polish. So, again, move that out of the way. <laughs> like so that is very very pale I don't know how well you can see that but there's an outline of a man kind of looks like he's running a bit so we're gonna add that to this so now this is what you should end up with you should have your outline chalk outline of your mam and the three French tips done on these and you are now going to put these into look again. Right, so here they are, nuked. Now we are going to slowly work our way across, starting on the thumb. This outline that we did in the very, very off-white you are now wanting to go over that with a black. like so you have an outline of a man yes I know it's not perfect I shake way too much for it to be perfect now on this palette I'm gonna mix up these three color reds to make a nice blood red um, obviously you, know, you find a red that you like so and then on our little man you're gonna have to figure out where you want the blood stain to be so I decided that this dude died from a gut shot so we do a nice sort of big pile of blood where he got shot like so where it's pulled out and then maybe just do like a couple of little blood splatters about so the rest of the nail doesn't look too empty like so now 
Now for this middle finger, this is going to be the messy bit. Obviously, if you're going to do this and put, purposely put gel on your skin, don't cure it on your skin. Clean it off beforehand, but we're just going to put this black gel we had left over here. We're going to push it into our thumb, like so. Clean that off of our other finger. And we are going to put our thumb print on here, like so. And you have a thumb print, which is actually my thumb print. Like I said, with this gel, make sure you clean it off. Don't put it anywhere near your lamp because you do not want to cure gel onto your skin. Like so, all nice and clean. Now for this one, we are just going to do a bunch of blood splatters. So we've got our red here already mixed up. Sort of doing some different size blobs. Well, maybe some down by here because it's looking a bit empty. Now, once you have your outline, preferably don't keep sticking your finger in it, like I did. We are going to do some blood dripping from the top down into this skin coloured section and some coming down into this white section here. like so, with a little couple of blood drops, like this. Now I've messed up that bit by there, so I'm just going to fix it. So I just fixed it by making it look like a bit more blood is dripping. So now you should have this you have your man your chalk outline with his blood you've got your blood dripping down you've got your middle finger with the thumbprint on you've got your plain blood red nail and then your blood splatter nail now you're going to put this into cure again okay so now once you have cured all your designs on to protect them, you are going to want to top coat all of them. 
it's up to you whether you choose to do matte or shiny uh, for this set I am going to do shiny and then once you have top coated them all once you have no not once you have once I have top coated them all um, I will be back to show you the finished result and here is the finished design all top coated nice and shiny um, the light that I'm in right now isn't really showing the sparkle in this nail oh there we go see how nice and sparkly that is but it's nice and subtle so it's not like in your face and yeah i hope you like this nail design and i'll see you in the next video guys bye